Sina, we got to drag your kingdom down. All glory, Sina, we got to drag your kingdom down. Mm. You keep building up that old kingdom, oh God, all on you too. And I'm telling you, Satan, I'm going to drag your kingdom down. And you sure ain't living holy, Satan. <laughs> Time for some demon slaying. Hey, people. Probably Bona Monster. That's it. You got the rhythm to tune town. You on the line, brother. <laughs> Hi, Tanya B. Princess A. Shakira. Mm -hmm. Kimberly White. How you doing? Erica J. Jess Kimmy. How you doing? Uh huh. Mocha Drop. Toon Town. God before everything. Hey, I got to change my name to my uh, spiritual name. So they say every time they say my name, it gives me a word, honey. God before everything. That's right. Mm -hmm. I got to discuss this woman, uh, probably bona fide. I haven't talked about her in a while, but I see she's still cling clinging to her small, her small ideas. And these are not old ideas. These are not. These are not, uh, I would say they're ancient ideas, right? She clings so, so to those ideas because she is a woman who needs to feel like she is better than somebody on this goddamn planet. She's always got to put her ass in. Oh, it's wrong. It's wrong. What the Bible say? It's wrong. Girl, I am so sick of this shit. First of all, I'm looking at at Greenleaf. I'm revisiting Greenleaf now. And a big part of Greenleaf, at least the first three seasons, which were the best seasons, are really about the same subject, the same old shit, right? This homosexuality is wrong in the Bible. It's Bible time. It's going back. To, you got to go back 6,000 years and see what they said in the desert. But that's what God said. I know y'all get sick of me repeating the same damn thing over and over and over. But every time I talk about the Bible, I got to say the same thing, child. That it is not God, you are an idolatrous. If you are clinging, so if you are clinging to the words that were written by men, ignorant people in a desert six thousand years ago, then I would say that you are an idolater. Why? Because you have made a book, a man-written book, which is not even written by one person, right? This, this this book has been written over hundreds of years by all these different people who never had no firsthand knowledge. They're just repeating what they heard from their great-grandmama. Word for word. Anyway, I don't want to discourage anybody from reading a Bible. But this thing, she uses every opportunity to come up here with this homosexual shit, right? Even though she, every other word comes out of her mouth is about some man. Now, what does the Bible say about all this fornication? I want to, that's what I want to know. And why is one sin different than the other sin, girl? Are you a virgin? That's strange. How in the hell you got a, a full grown baby with you a virgin, girl? And you out here chasing men and having men pull their dicks out in front of bars, girl? And you're supposed to be holiness? Oh, oh, you got to go with what the Bible say. What did the Bible say about women such as yourself, Miss uh, Probably Bonafide? Let's talk about it, honey. Are you still going to the club and going out with these people and then coming out in front of the club and asking them when they drop you off at your house, are you asking them to show you their dicks? So how many of them dicks has been invited back into your house, girl? So you're saying that the sin of didn't didn't the people the uh 
what was it the Israelites, whoever the people were, didn't they throw the woman down? We caught her in the very act. What say you, Jesus? What shall we do to her? Jesus said, and I don't mind quoting what he said. I'm not, I mean, I don't read the Bible, so I'm not, I, this is, uh, what do you call it? Small. Uh, he said, he who is without sin, let that person throw the first stone. In other words, what Jesus Christ was saying to the, to the people there who wanted to stone them, you know, they were real big on stoning people, particularly women, to death. Why? Because they opened their legs, right? But you want to stick to what the Bible say, right? So shouldn't you be stoned? For all these men you claim you're dating, we know that some of them is going up in that thing. That, ooh, that thing, that thing, that thing. Girl, you know you got to watch out. Cause some of them dudes was all about that thing, that thing. Probably bona fide. You could probably be stoned to death for pretty much everything you do on a daily basis, right? So you're clinging to this other notion because you heard it. You say, oh, my grandmama said it. My gra Girl, I, I don't possess that my grandmother was some kind of a goddamn uh, intellect, right? But she claims her her old idea because that's all they had. That they just read the Bible. You, you read your Bible. Well, that's a whole different. You are a modern day woman. And you really want to go back to what they said about women in the Bible. Girl, were even a handful of them were even mentioned in the Bible. Why? Because a woman was not worthy. According to these people, you worship and call them God. You say, why do you keep saying that he calling people God? You keep saying he called, we calling them God. You are calling them God because you're saying that everything that appears in the Bible is from God. Like it's God. It's not God. It's just a book, honey. And it's not even a book because they're tiny little books. Girl, I should have had one in here. They are written by over 40 writers, different people, the Catholics. They put together, we'll put that in. We can verify the paper. That person was alive. So that's what they said. We'll put that in. And then we put this, let's wait 80 years. And we put, let's put, they, was he alive? Okay, we'll put his in too. They created a book, which was not a book. It was 66 different books, right? And the Catholics decide what to cantonize into this book, right? Right? But these things were still written down by men, right? Their recollection, their belief, their faith, correct? If I write something that I feel is spiritually inspired, I feel it on my heart, and I write it down, does that become God? Because you've made the Bible God, whatever appears in the Bible God. Like these ancient people with all these laws, over 600 laws, not six laws or 66 laws, 600 laws, many of which would have your ass stoned in front of your family's house. Let her come out, bring her out so we can stone her. But you don't remember that part, Miss Popperly Bonafide Monster, right? All you remember about, oh, the Bible says it's wrong. The Bible says it's wrong. So let's talk about it. You say, you, uh, I watched Troy Allen on today, Beef in 313, where she made her appearance, making her announcement. She's going to come and clear all this up tonight. What was I just talking about? <laughs> I forgot what I was talking about, child. Hi, bro. Hi, Almond Brown. Uh-huh. Anyway, over that. So probably bona fide says that that is wrong. That therefore, these people should not be married. She has all these ideas. And as it turns out, President Biden on today signed a bill where marriage, marriage equality, I think you call it the Marriage Equality Act, is protected. It ain't going away. The properly bona fide monster. And we can't, well, I don't, I never could uh, understand why you were so concerned with the happiness or the family of other people, girl. 
But it's small minds like you, small, tiny little brains like you, who wants to stay stuck, girl, centuries, centuries ago, hundreds, thousands of years ago, girl. You want to take that morality and still drag it in here. Why? Because you don't feel better than nobody, bitch. Nobody. Right? You buying into this shit. Oh, oh, the, the, the black woman's plight, the black, but fuck everybody else, right? So I heard what you said today. I know I'm jumping all around about how you uh, you want to defend Brian. Let me tell you something. Brian is wrong, right? Now, I'm not going to sit up here and criticize that brother because he's going through a period of self-hatred. But believe me, it is self-hatred, right? It will destroy him unless he grows, correct? But here we go with the property bona fide. She wants to agree with him. Y'all got to listen to what Brian said. Y'all got, no, we don't. And it is harmful to the community, right? Because it perpetuates this idea that these people are wrong and they got to change. And they're going to go, he said he's going go to go to, to therapy and I'm going to come out changed. It ain't going to work. They've tried that. They've tried shock treatments. They tried in this thing I'm watching now, this Greenleaf thing, they have certain formulas they drink. So every time they think about a dick or asshole, <gasps> they're repulsed by it. They ain't repulsed by it. They're repulsed by the drink, right? This is how they self-flagellate themselves, right? So Brian's in trouble because he's not going to survive this life with that much self-hatred based on something what his mama said or his grandmama said they don't they don't what, what what were they just people honey the world is growing up we are still evolving people say oh i don't believe in evolution i don't believe i believe we're still supposed to evolve we are not supposed to share the ideas of ancient people in the desert right now we see what happens in the mid, in the Middle East, right? They still got their women wrapped up. All you can see is her eyeballs sticking out from all this black fabric and all this stuff. Because they religious and, and they read the Bible or the Torah or whatever book they read. We see what religion does. We see how religion still perpetuates wars, right? You say God is love, but do you really believe it? Is there a book now that would have more killing and murder and rape than the Bible? This thing you say you're emulating. So she always pops her little turtle head out every time this subject comes out. Well, if you have are compared, if you, if it pleasures you, Miss Probably Bonafide Monster, if it pleasures you to believe that you're better than somebody else, then just believe it, girl. We don't need to hear about it. Nobody wants to know about it, honey. Take your ass in there, put on your long skirt, and pretend to be holy on Sundays. Right. And then you can come back out on Monday and go back to that club and to that gym where all the men you on the men's floor. Right. You on the men's floor because you you love men. Right. And the very idea of a man who don't want your nasty ass girl it, it, it infuriates you, Miss Thing, because you think somebody supposed to want you and don't nobody want your ass. You shut up. I got to be quiet. Shut the hell up. Oh, no, no, no. Sin. Shut the fuck up. Oh, no, no, no. It's sin. Fuck. This thing is all sin. Damn near everything we do is sin. You don't believe it? Walk your ass through the Middle East, girl, in your little uh, mini skirts. Right? Re wear your long cleavage, girl, through the Middle East. Right? Isn't that where the people came from in the Bible? They still believe they're still stuck. You want us to be stuck as well? properly bona fide monster who are you trying to convince something is wrong girl what the fuck you mean are you not able to think we have to think now right we can't we said we love our grandmamas and our great grandmamas and our great great grandmamas all the way back to the slave we love that woman because we are that woman right because we carry the same dna right so whenever whoever came here girl we're the same people so we love those people but we don't know that they know anything about god no more than us. We're supposed to be judging people now by the content of the character. Right? So you, you're going to, people like you will perpetuate and damage people like this boy, Brian. He is wrong, but he has to find out on his own. It is not for me to tell him 
that boy, you're wrong and you're hurting yourself. Anytime you're going out into the world, you're hurting yourself. Eventually, you'll turn to drugs, alcohol, wild, crazy sex. You, you'll find ways that, that you can uh, you can expel this hatred you have of yourself. You cannot be happy. As long as you hate yourself, you cannot be happy, in my opinion. Now, you can go out there, child, and, and be a Donnie McCurkin and deny yourself and deny, deny your nature and try to convince other people to deny theirs as well. I mean, I wouldn't have such a big problem with McCurkin if he just he just was who he was, girl. If he want to go to meetings and drink poisons and make himself sick and all that kind of shit, I would say that's that man's business, right? But no, when you perpetuate it and you have crowds of people that you try to convince them to be sick as you, girl, you want these teenagers to be as sick as you. Go through life. Hating themselves. Why? Oh, it was the words. What else did the words say, girl? And everything, even in this thing, and I'm watching Greenleaf, girl. Even the one that's supposed to be the villain in the thing, the basic skank character, girl. Even he had to say, well, girl, what else is in that Bible? Right? Why you pick out one thing, girl? Something that don't have nothing to do with you. Look at yourself. Stop. Take a look at yourself. Don't criticize everybody else. You got to believe in something. Mm -hmm. What's the other song I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of another song. Respect yourself. Da, 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 da. Respect yourself. Le -dee 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 -dee. If you don't respect yourself, ain't Nobody gonna give a good go. Na 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 na. Keep talking around me, women folk. Don't even know the name. Miss Poverty Bonafide, you said you are educated woman. You are educated woman, right? If you are an educated woman, you should be able to recognize right from wrong, girl. You should not have to go into ancient ancient writings, girl, to find out what is right and what is wrong, right? You have not evolved worth a shit, correct, girl? Because you are convinced that this is this this is this is life, this is God, everything, all contained in, a, in in his book, where God is not even in the party in the book, child. You gotta be, you got to come to the you got to look at a thing for what it is, girl. You can't say a book is God, right? When you want to quote, quote God, quote the feeling you get when you know you are doing wrong. Quote the feeling you get when you know you are doing right. The spirit inside of you, girl, right? Does the spirit not tell you anything, girl, right? You going back to the what the people? Why well, the pastor said this, and the she, always, she don't, she's very religious. The pastor said this. Who in the fuck made the pastor God? His opinions. Right? Why can't the pastor go out there and pass out Bibles? Is that, here's what I'm talking about. And just pass them out. And they can go home reading them themselves. Why do you got to go and bring a tenth of your income plus the uh, the children's department, plus the, the food committee, plus all these other committees, and they got to get all the, com all the money you can get? Why is that necessary, really? If this is the word of God, just read it. Right? Silly, gullible people like you, properly bona fide. Right? Now, unfortunately, people get old, they die, right? A lot of this old religion, oh, give me that old time religion, it's good enough for me. A lot of those people, unfortunately, are going to have to die. Good people, decent people. They've been taught and pitched to this shit. They've been living their life in this book, whatever. But those old ideas, they have to die at some point. People like you. However, we'll keep the hatred alive. You and Miss Kim Burrell, y'all can go over there with y'all long dresses on, girl, and try to lie and pretend like you a holy girl. And then you you can't even get off the church steps before you start gossiping, girl, and dating. I'm dating. I'm dating. I'm saying we have heard that you are dating. Why do you have to express how desperate you are for a man, girl? Right? So, no, I, you probably do look at some men here on YouTube. You say, oh, he can't be gay. Why he gay and wrong? Why he gay? Girl, if they were going to fix it, they would have fixed it hundreds of years ago. If they had a way to fix it, to change it. See, you criticize God's creation. 
when you remove, let's pretend for a moment, Miss Property Bonafide, there is no Bible. There is no Bible, no recorded of no history, nothing, right? Is God not still God? Is God not still real, right? Are the, the things that are placed on this planet, which are life, which ha would happen in animals, which happen in, in people, the, the senses, the ability to see, all the nostrils, all the kidneys, all the organs inside the body, are, are all those things not created still? Right? Is the sun still not in the sky, girl? If you pretend that there is no Bible, just pray to God. What's your prayer? Thank you. Thank you, God. Mm -hmm. it, ain't the, it ain't that much different. Atheists have a better relationship with some of y'all than, than God with, with God because y'all make the Bible is God. Right? The writings of Paul, that's God. Even though Paul says out of his own mouth, listen to me, people, I am not God. I'm telling you what I think. A preacher telling you what he thinks, girl, and you're going to turn it, oh, this is scripture. This is scripture. What makes the scripture valid is that Jesus Christ himself quoted from the scripture, right? Wasn't the new whole New Testament, isn't it all? after jesus so how could he be quoting what's after him it is impossible right the things that were put in the bible after jesus christ he never verified that that was the word of god it's just the word of men oh this is an ancient book child anyway i said all that hey people how y'all doing let me get my change my attitude I know y'all go to church. Ain't nobody mad at you. I go to I go to when I can, when they let me. Mm -hmm. Sing, Timothy. I like the singing better than anything because the singing, gospel music. You know, I, I wrote a whole series about five books about the gospel music experience. The music is just worship to God. God, I love you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Right? It's just thank you. Right? It's not all of this this other religious ideas. It's not in the music. The music is just worship. We, I'm just going to love him because he's God. He ain't got no other reason. I don't need to know your, your history. I'm not so arrogant to believe that I know your history because I read it in the book. I read it in the book. You're God. You're different. Holiness. Holiness. That's who's your holiness. God is holy. God is not the same as us. So how are we going to adapt the word now? This is holiness. Mm, I believe in holiness. Until you go and meet your boyfriend. Oh, that's different. That's di Didn't the Bible say one sin is no better than the other one? Right? Any other, other 600 laws given to the Jews? Whatever, child, whatever. I, I say the same shit every time I get going with these people. But I saw her over there. She can't wait to jump on this conversation that happened, I guess, a week or so ago. Look at all that light on my arm. I look sexy still. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. Excuse me, baby. Excuse me, you ding dong. Move out the way, you ding 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 the ding ding. See how quiet my baby is when nobody's in the hallway? Hold on one minute. Hold on. Uh-uh. Hold on. People. I confess, I am in a struggle. I am in, I am in a struggle because I know God personally. He's revealed himself to me on more than one occasion. I know him to be real. The spirit ram is a real thing, right? And then I've been taught that I should hate and resist people who hate and resist me. Is that what God intended for his church? Really? So I'm conflicted. How do you love God? How do you love the church? Right? This is Christ's church. How do you love them when they hate you? When they've done everything in their power to dissuade you from being a happy person. When they invalidate your relationships and say they don't mean shit. 
You got to be like me, right? How do you love such an institution, right? And we're all through there. So I feel for people like Brian. This is what it produces. It produces self-hatred. Fortunate for me, I have never believed that stuff. I've never believed it, honey. God is love. God, well, what's God wasting his time over there worrying about who, who you zooming? Who zooming who? Mm -hmm. I guess that's his big concern. No, God is more concerned with keeping the sun in the sky so it won't burn your black ass up. I think he got bigger issues. He's given us dominion over the earth, honey. You can't figure out right from wrong. You can't figure out that you're going that they're, they're producing people like Brian, who is a grown ass man who is so full with self hatred that he believes he's gonna go to a therapy session and he gonna not be gay anymore. You're denying God's creation. He put it here. There are some things you can't see that God has put here, like love. You can't see love. You can't reach out and just touch love, honey. No, it is, it is another creation, a thing that can't be seen, an emotion, right? Mm -mm. What was that song? It says you can't catch an emotion, but love, true love is through the heart. What was that? I've learned, baby, I've learned that love don't love no one. What's that? What you say? <laughs> Philip E. White, I think his name was. Mm -hmm. How y'all doing today? Yeah, it's a difficult conversation. And I got to admit that I'm in a struggle. I said, God, when I got out of San, out, out of I got out of Vacaville prison last time, I said, God, how am I gonna do this? But if it if it if it is necessary for me to change my sexuality, then please make that happen. Let it, I just want to be free. I want to be right. Right? And when I got out of prison, I said, you know what? I need to stay in this word because I stayed in it when I was in prison. At least in the last couple of years, I stayed in it. Right? C can I continue? But the, con the, 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 the uh, what do you call it? The contradictions. All the various contradictions. All the various contradictions are because the same person is not writing all these books. It's not like one person just wrote a book, right? All these 66 different people are adding things. So obviously they're going to be contradictions, girl. And people and they, things that they do not understand. There's no way you could understand something like that in the, in the beginning of time. It's just that it, it, there's no way those people would have had any. Those people couldn't even read. The majority of them were illiterate, right? It took a special man to come and read the scripture. But yet they have all the answers and now they're writing books and things. Mm. A walking jukebox. <laughs> but the music is beautiful. Worship is wonderful. It's fabulous. We all see them people take off running down around the church. That would used to be Timothy Blaine. Baby, it wouldn't, they hit that tambourine one time. Bing and I go. Hallelujah. It was wonderful. It's fabulous, right? The spirit, the spiritual thing, right? Not the book, the spirit of God, right? I worship you. Why? Because you're God. I don't have any other opinion about it. You're a God. You're in control. I receive you. I accept you. Show me God. What do I do next? Right? And you, we know what between deep down, we should know what's right or wrong. I don't know how people can convince themselves. Oh, no, we got to keep those people down. We got to tell them your life is wrong. You're going to hell. And, and it, did it make a difference? Because you produced a, a Brian here and there? It made no difference because it's in nature. It's in God's design. He makes the decisions. Do you think our God will leave the decisions of humanity up to us. Did you see what happened in China? Where they had to limit how many people, babies you can have. You only have two babies and then you, what did they do? Sterilize you or some shit? You couldn't, it, it, they made it illegal to have more than two babies kind of thing. Because you have a population explosion. Perhaps their homosexual is also a part of the plan. 
like nature, right? Certain animals eat other animals. And you say, oh, it's horrible. Why that big old cheetah go eat that little animal, right? But it's part of nature. It keeps it going. It produces oxygen, right? It don't just happen. Not something this big. Oh, anyway, who did I start talking about? Miss Properly Bonafide. So she thinks she's going to bring her ass on here now again. And of course, uh, Brian is arguing with the person who I don't fuck with. But uh, you got to pay for pray for people like Brian. He's got to go through his process, though. Um, for, I would hate to think that he's going to go through his process of hating himself for his whole life to end up like a Donnie McCurk and, 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 and uh, realizing at some point in their 50, now they done wasted their whole life hating themselves. And now all of a sudden uh, they're, they're, they're holier. So I don't know how that shit works. It's, it's sad. It's, it's just It's just sad. I remember with this dude I used to be, he was beautiful too. This guy I used to be with. Every time we had sex, he would cry. I said, well, I, we ain't got to do this if you don't want to, bro. I mean, what is it? He would cry. Now, more than likely, this boy was had been abused in some way. He's scarred and he's damaged. Nice to look at, but he was damaged on the inside, right? So full with self-hatred, yet he wants to do it. So I guess the boy was doing drugs so he could do it. And at the same time, he hated doing it. A lot of times, this kind of things end up in suicide, right? Because you can't make it make sense. And then probably bonus, she celebrates that. Oh, why can't he tell that to Brian? You going to tell that to Brian? Because you you admire the, the, the self-hating homosexual girl. Right. Because hating us gives you uh, bragging rights that you are better than the homosexual people. Right. In other words, somebody got to be the niggas. Somebody. And you're going to make them niggas. Right. And if you can't hate on the homosexual, you'll find somebody else to hate. It is the nature of the beast. Mm -hmm. Relationship is the key. You don't need religion to have a relationship. Y'all been out of church for two solid years. Has your life life changed? Has your roof fallen in? Have you prayed any less? I'm just asking. This is God's world, not our world. Your answer, your response to God, thank you. I'm still here. Desperate little brain woman. Mm. But what's so offensive about her is she's a nasty woman. Probably bona fide is a nasty woman. What was the opinion of the Bible concerning a nasty woman when they got that nasty woman disease? She's a nasty woman. She always talking about what, what, what nigga she went out with this day and then a week later it's a different nigga and then she got, girl, she telling all the flaws of that one and all. You know that they, they, many of them end up in her bedroom, child. So she, the same time she's bitching about somebody else and seeing and seeing and seeing, girl, she's a primary sinner. Primary. If I haven't had sex in 15 goddamn years, girl, and you're having it every other week, who is the worst sinner? Seeing. Okay, I ain't gonna be on the shit forever. Let me just say this. You say you're holy, right? The words of Christ, as recorded in the Bible, all we have is, is that book. I can go back and say, listen, Jesus Christ said, verily, verily, I say it unto thee. For you to even look at a woman with lust in your heart, you have sinned before God. See, you need to be delivered from even looking properly bona fide. Now, how do you jail that with Men pulling their dicks out so you can gawk at their cock. Doesn't make sense, girl. Verily, verily, I say it unto thee, girl, you're a hoe. Desperate to get somebody. Nobody wants you, Miss Probably Bonafide. Your mouth. It is your mouth, girl. You really want to go back to be a, 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 a good Christian woman like you've got in the Bible, girl? We know you pretend to be that on Sunday, but is that what you really want? Are you prepared to be somebody's wife, to be submissive, 
as they are in the Bible, right? Are you prepared to be the property of another human being? What's going on? Should we have slavery again? Let's just have it. Might as well. It's in the Bible, right? Weren't the, weren't the Egyptians slaves? I'm just asking. So should we do it do it again? Baby, 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 come here, baby. Oh shit. God damn it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you said a bad word. You said a bad word. Girl, that's your idea of religion. This thing, please. Pitiful. This is why a relationship is the key, not religion. Mm -hmm. My grandmama went to uh, church religiously for at least 70 years, right? And when she was too old to get up and go, she talked the exact same. She still loved God. She still prayed to God. It ain't something you put on and take off, right? When God has done touched you, God blocked it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. He put his hand near mine and then he touched me. He touched me. And suddenly, nothing, nothing is the same. It is the truth, people. Mm -hmm. When I was going to church in Vacaville State Prison, them people, you know, the preachers, they do what they do. They're trained to preach the Bible. That's their job, right? But it was, they didn't help me my deliverance at all. I don't even remember what they said. It was when somebody came off them streets, though, and gave their testimony about how they turned their faith over to Jesus Christ, and they were walking out of the prison. Mm -hmm. They would tell us horrendous stories. Some of them used to be lifers. They would get out, and their world would be changed. I don't give a goddamn what you think about jailhouse preaching, honey right? Jailhouse conversion. They said that, girl, and here we are 20 and 30 years later, and they still still holding on by faith. And that's what helped me. I said, I want that, baby. That's what I want. I want to feel it on the inside. On the inside. Mm -hmm. These people are pitiful. You're pitiful. Holding on to hatred like you're doing something for God. What is it? What God got lollipops up there or something? What what does he give you for your ideas, girl? Are you gonna get a reward for the ideas? What, what, what is your purpose? You wrong, you wrong. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Okay, here we go. I see you, P P Bond. So we should should not read it at all cause it's no longer relevant baby i read the bible and i became a christian so i would say not not a, not a new testament christian a, a christian based on the gospel of jesus christ so there is tremendous great wisdom in the bible starting from there th if there's some things about human nature that were true five six thousand years that are still true right so there's tremendous great wisdom and we can't devalue the people's experiences in the Bible. I'm just saying because they appear in the Bible does not make them God. I'm my only, what I'm saying is idolatry is creating a, a man-made thing and turning it into God. Like they used to have those uh, the golden calves and they would melt all the gold and make him all pretty. And, and then that's God. That's what you're doing with the Bible, honey. You don't know any of that stuff to be true. You don't know everybody ain't perfectly right. You don't know 66 different people got it perfectly right, girl, right? I'm not saying that at all, P. Vaughn, and that's, that's my struggle. That is my struggle. I know that the Bible contains Christ, the author of my faith. I know it's in there. So I don't want to discourage people from reading the Bible. Absolutely not. Great wisdom in there, honey. Right, but just let it be what it is. How are you gonna take the songs of, I mean, the writings of David? Let's say the writings of David, because they appear in the Bible, 
then that, that's what the word said. Didn't the word also say that Jesus Christ was the word made flesh? Jesus Christ, this is what he calls the word. Whoever wrote that book, you know. So no, it is a struggle, but I, I'm just saying that I'm no less delivered than any, any of these hardheads that are out there running their mouth, child, and collecting y'all money. Saved is saved, honey. Delivered is delivered, right? When God touches you, you stay touched. Mm -mm. My grandmama, she told me her story of when she became a Christian, when she got saved is the language they use. That happened when she was like 13 years old, girl. They buried her in 94. It's something to hold on to, right? Right? When you believe that you are not alone. But that doesn't mean that now I have to go back and read that same passage over and over and over and over again and then pretend that that is God, right? If someone tells me the story of the prodigal son, when you go off to college, I would assume that the lessons you learn in college, you have learned those things, right? That's why we were in school when we were young. We learn, we absorb things, right? But do we have to go then and read the same book then for the rest of our life? Didn't you already learn it? You must be a slow reader, honey. And these people in the church, honey, they have careers. They have made that book. I love it. I'm literally loving this uh, Greenleaf series because it's showing us the hypocrisy of these people because everybody fucking. Everybody in the damn thing is fucking. Even though you got the majority of them saying that they are holy uh, or they are spiritual people and they run the church and they are the spiritual leaders of the universe and they try to mimic what goes on in real life, girl, they all fucking. Pivon, don't listen to all this shit. If reading the Bible gives you pleasure, it gives you peace, then continue to read it. I ain't saying that. But if, if reading the Bible is making you hateful and evil towards other people, you have to question that. Is that would, would this be the will of the Christ? Is this the will of is this the will of God that I would spend my rest of my life with my mouth poked out talking about who, who's seeing you seen and you bad and you going to hell and you going to, who who gives you all this power to send anybody anywhere, girl? That's what I'm saying. If God wants to strike you down, he just does it. Heart attack, honey. Take your ass up out of here. You, it depends on how much do you how much do you actually believe in the spirit. I don't have a hard time with the spirit, child. Many things are spiritual. As I said, love is spiritual. You meet somebody, you come off the damn elevator, you see him, he sees you, and there's something there, an invisible, like a spirit, right? Something moves between you. You know, then, you, oh, can I get them digits and all that kind of stuff? Many times it's just the flesh. We understand that, girl. But many times when you fall in love with somebody, you are spiritually connected to them. Right? I believe that. I loved one time and he carried me all the way through my life. So, uh, Pivon, uh, let me see. It is no longer relevant. The ideas, the laws are no longer relevant. The laws given to the Israelites. Or we're never relevant to us. All everybody who wasn't a Jew was a, a, a heathen, right? Y'all took it and, and then made it you, yours, like you're the Jews. And some of them say they are the Jews. What was that boy named? Uh, what's his name? The rapper dude. He said he is the Jews, yet he want to start a bottle with the Jews. What kind of sense does that make? How you doing there, shooting ropes? Shooting rope 77? Mm -hmm. Tanya B. What's going on, Tanya B, drinking that coffee? I see you. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm basically saying the same thing over and over again, but I, I believe it to be true. Oh, well, I was saying when I got out of pen, I said, well, I, I'm going to have to be reading this Bible constantly because I had no conception of this, all this church and this Bible. Do I got to go to church, God? Do I got to go watch TV? Do I got to listen to only spiritual music? Do I got to stop being gay and marry some woman? What, what do you want me to do? Right? And God never led me back to the Bible. Right? You have the story. Now live. We are connected. 
The veil of the tent is running too. Everybody come. Come. Mm -mm. Uh, uh, Clara said, homosexuality came from Europe. <laughs> child, there's always been homosexuality, child. The people did not understand. They had no understanding of homosexuality, child. For them, these damn uh, uh, people in, in, in Solomon and Gomorrah, they were just jumping on the children, the men and the women, everybody. But y'all pick out just the homosexuals. That was the sin of Solomon, the homosexual. No, girl, they were doing it to women too. Wasn't that? If a person can have sex outside of marriage without being stoned to death, don't you think what the men in Sodom and Gomorrah were doing, don't you think that would be sin as well, girl? Even if you took all the homosexuals out, would they still not be sinful people? They wanted to fuck God's angels. Clara, it didn't come from Europe, honey. Well, we came from Europe. America came from Europe. We came from Africa, met them here. They enslaved us. How important is the history to you, though? Right? Stop trying to think you know God. You don't know God. God knows you. Right? Thank you. Good morning, God. Thank you. Please look after my brother. He's got a broken heart. Mm -hmm. so anytime the subject uh comes up you see that probably bona fide monster she gets all excited all wet in her panties or oh you came back you gotta go with the word what do words what does the word say about your activities uh miss properly bona fide and incidentally how's that man hunt coming that man hunt girl because all you ever seem to th talk about is men all these different men, girl. You always dating somebody else, Miss A. How's that going? Are you looking for a husband? You better hurry the hell up, girl. How old are you? Right? I ain't never seen somebody so desperate to get a man. If you are desperate to get a man, just go out and get one, girl. And shut up. Mm -hmm. What else is going on, people? Oh, so Biden is setting this bill now. So my understanding of the bill... Uh, I'm not following uh, uh, religious things right now. I'm not so. Uh, I'm not following religious things. Lord have mercy. I'm not following political things right now. But apparently, a major step in protecting equal marriage uh, has been signed into a law now, where these Republican people can come in and take gay marriage away from somebody. They will not let it go. And now he's made it where they have to. Clarence Thomas sitting his funky ass up there. He's the one who brought his idea. Oh, what a, maybe we ought to look at that law uh, for, for same sex marriage. Maybe, well, look what you've done, Clarence. This nigga is sitting up there in an interracial relationship. And the law of the day that was signed in, it also had to cover interracial relationships, girl. Or they could change that as well, dumbass. Stupid ass Uncle Tom. Only time we heard his voice in the last 30 years, girl. And she gonna come over here and try to put somebody else's marriage down when she been in a marriage, girl, that the government had to make legal for her to even engage in such a marriage. Bill covers interracial marriage and homosexual marriage or same-sex marriage, right? Apparently, some Republicans signed it. They call it... it uh, Bipartisan is primarily the Democrats. Because these people will actually have people getting married for 20 years and then come knock on their door and tell them they're not no longer married. This is what they want. Hold on to your hatred. Hold on. A few more decades. Hold on. Mm -hmm. You can believe in God and not go to church or read the Bible. Yes, you can. You most certainly can. There's only one God, honey, whether you are Muslim, whatever you are, whether you are Hindu or whatever kind of religion you practice, you're still praying to God as best you can, right? 12-step people, they got 12 steps to a better understanding of your relationship with God. It's all about God. It's all about that spirit living within you power your spirit has power 
power for good and power for evil. Mm. Uh, I can't understand how we are still discussing interracial relationships in 2022. I don't know, but that was part of the bill today, Samantha, in case they tried it. You got these idiots like Clarence Thomas up there. He's the one brought it up. Can't you believe that? How long has he been in an interracial relationship, child, interracial marriage? He said, take a look at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it used to be illegal. You remember they used to hang people, black people, if they even looked at a white woman with lust in their eyes. It would kill them. I don't know why people want to keep going back to back to back. Oh, great granny said, girl, those people were not intellectuals, honey. God damn, recognize you have a brain. God designed a brain for you. Just that damn thing. It makes your arm say arm move. It's just doing it automatically, right? Everything you do is all design, girl, right? And you have a brain to think. Is it wrong to treat other people like they're less than you? Is it right or is it wrong? Of course it's wrong. If you cannot see that it's wrong, then you are a religious zealot, honey. Cause more harm in the world than anything else in, in the world, honey. All the wars, girl, they started with these religious ideas. These people going out blowing themselves up, it's really religion. They're going to go to heaven and have thousands of, of wives or some shit. Religion. Mm -hmm. Baby, I listen here. I am not a preacher. I am not a pastor. These are just the, the, uh, the opinions of one man. That's it. I hope to do no harm. That's what I hope. This guy, Brian, I think you're wrong. I know it to be true. I've seen it. You know, Many people, they have to go through that process. I would hope that you would get over that process when you're a teenager. When you come to recognize who God has created you to be, right? This is who you, not going by the book. And remember, we're pretending there is no book, right? You're just born and that's who you are. Six or seven years old, you start realizing your attraction. It's in your design. But if he wants to go on hating himself, go ahead. Hey, oh, they get 1,000 wives when they blow themselves up? Mm -hmm. what y'all think what else going on people how you doing big range joint <laughs> big range that y'all ignoring me you ain't even saying hello that boy was crying because he loathed what he was mm -mm -mm. a beautiful gay man you're right girl Crying because who you you were born to be. Mm, mm, mm. It's, it's, it's really pretty sad. Of course, Miss Bonafide, she gets happy about a child. Oh, you hate yourself. Oh, you agree. Let's touch a degree. Let's touch a degree. Now you go out there. I'm going to go back and give some more of these dicks that I've been sucking on all week. And then you go out there and you be hiding in your closet. That's right. And flagellate yourself. Flag you want to drink some of the stuff? You could drink some of the stuff that you even throw up for the rest of your goddamn life. Mm. Y'all gonna hate me after this one. Lord have mercy. Let me check my perimeter, child. Maybe I can change my subject. Okay, and this is why I can't. Okay. I don't see nothing new. Let me see. Uh huh. A lot of talk about this bill being signed just to protect marriage. It's already law. Now it's protected by the Fed. No, I don't see nothing now. I don't see nothing going on, child. What y'all think? What's going on? I ain't getting that many comments. Y'all done clicked off. He said, oh, he owned one girl. <laughs> That's all right. If you ain't feeling it, go away, honey. I understand. Mm -hmm. 
Eugenia says, we only have one life. Why waste energy on hating what others do? It don't make no sense. It never has made any sense. But I mean, I guess it made sense to religious people because they got somebody to hate, honey. Right? They always want somebody to put down and make yourself feel better. Why would I care what, what you're doing in your bedroom? I mean, isn't that personal? Mm -hmm. Satan going to drag your kingdom down. They think that's a Jay Wilson song, right? But it's not. It's all Satan. All hatred. That's Satan, honey. Anytime you're feeling hatred, that's not of God. You see how you feel different? You see how your face scrawls up when you're feeling hate? Mm, piousness, all that shit, right? That's totally different from when you're feeling love for people and you're smiling, right? Because that's God, right? The good part. God is always the good part. If this whole goddamn thing burned up tomorrow, God is still God. God is still the good part. Right? That's how I feel. I think you guys are doing it. People who are religious, who are pushing this, this, still hanging on to this homosexual shit. I think you're doing God a disservice because you're running people in droves away from your churches to where they 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 are, uh, they they hate religion and all anything connected to it. Right? There's so many people in 12 step when you go, people who get off alcohol and drugs, they raise their hands. There's so much church burn and not only amongst the gays, child. Because when they just like when they hate me, they hate you too, girl. I hate everybody, right? But they have done such a job at running people away. They said, as long as you don't mention Jesus, they got people in 12 step, I am not bullshitting you, who call a doorknob God. They said, if it's so hard for you to get to God, to faith in God, make that doorknob God. Pray to the doorknob. And these people are more willing to pray to a doorknob than they are to pick up that Bible. You have convinced them that they are convicted. What you left out of the story was, we're all convicted. When Jesus said, if your eyes offend you, pluck them out. For it is better to go through the world blind than to go through the world burning with sin. He's defining sin as just the look, to even look at them. That's why the people in the Middle East, they cover themselves all up. You can't even see their toes. Everything is covered up, girl. Even though some of the women, I've seen them, they even got black gloves on. Eyes covered, mouth covered, everything, right? right? So you won't burn with sin. They put it on the woman. <laughs> y'all like the the, the, the the kingdom song right it got more verses to it too preachers we gonna preach his kingdom down oh glory I say the preachers they gonna preach his kingdom <laughs> I love the music. He been building up that whole kingdom, oh God, all on you too. And we're telling you, Satan, we're going to drag your kingdom down. All hatred, honey. Anytime your face, go look in the mirror. Anytime your face is screwed up. Oh, that John Britt. Hi, John Britt. I ain't seen you in a while. You moved, didn't you? That's one of my old neighbors. Mm. We got to drag it down, baby. Anytime hatred pops up, I don't give a goddamn who it is. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not down with hating white people or hating Chinese people or hating Mexican people or just hate, hate, hate. Hell, we hate the Republicans. Everybody hates something. Hey, hey, hey. I'm not down with any of it, honey. If it's if it's of hate, it is of the devil. It's bent on keeping you miserable. Right? When you all pulled up, you're the most unhappy people on the planet. When you're thinking you're being holy. You ain't being holy. You're just starving yourself. Damn. 
If God wanted to end this bullshit, he ended it. He would have ended it thousands of years ago. But he said, no, go on. I'm going to give you dominion over this thing. And I want to see what you do with it. Right? And I'm sure there are many things about, about this creation of his he has to turn his eyes away from. That's why he sent the Christ. I can't deal with these people. They're too damn evil. Damn, I can't even walk out the garden without them being evil, without them lying and stealing and cheating. If you steal, you cheat, you cheat, you, you, you're fucking everybody. You're doing every goddamn thing, right? So I'm just going to leave it on you. And I'm going to give you dominion over the earth. Now, does God want you to come out here kind of to tell one sin? How did the arm say to the elbow, I don't need you? Isn't it in there? I said it's great wisdom in there, honey. How your neck, how your body going to tell your neck that I don't need you? So you yeah, <laughs> your, your elbow, tell your, tell your wrist, I don't need you. <laughs> Girl. I am a human. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, Charles Dawson. Uh, uh. Take your time and sing that song. Mm -hmm. I said, <laughs> I said the preacher. I love that that verse. You know the whole song is on. No, I can't pull it. I was gonna pull the song up so I can hear hear the verses, honey. But they'll they'll uh uh eliminate my my coin. It's all about a coin. Remember. Mm -hmm. Oh, please. You hear what Gammy Carter say? Oh, Lord, Timothy Blaine, he on, he on one. St. James and all the chat, don't sing, please. Mm. <laughs> See, they want to stifle your spirits. I sing because I'm happy. And I sing because I am free. His eye is on you too. And I know he watches over me. That's the key thing to know you're not alone, honey. I've been in here, but nothing but a dog for 20 years. And I know he watches over me. Baby, I don't got to go out there and find some piece of trade. I don't got to go out there and do me no hit of dope. I don't need no hit of rock. I don't need nothing, child. Right? Everything going to be just fine. God's going to take care of me. I believe it. I know it to be true. Right? It is what it is. I'm sorry you don't appreciate my, you know, Gamage Carter, he's in the choir at the, at the, at the church. So he sits in judgment of everybody can sing and don't sing, right? What I say, what I say, verily, verily, what I say unto thee, don't let nobody take your song, honey, because they make money singing don't mean that you can't sing, right? Sing out of joy. Mm -hmm. Sing like you was in your shower. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. Maybe I should uh, have uh, Duchess Kelly Love put that song together. We're going to uh, do, a, do a duet of Satan. <laughs> We're going to drag your kingdom down, honey. <laughs> uh, you ain't living holy. <laughs> right. There's so much. There's so much hatred around, child. You can't be happy as long as you're going to, you have decided you're going to be pious and miserable. Because ain't nobody changing nothing. Ain't nobody changing. Hell, if I, if I could change my sexuality, I would have did it at 13, 12 years old, right? Ain't nobody changing nothing. You just you just going to be miserable for the rest of your life. Get it bum out of here, boy. Get it bum out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Big trouble. Get it bum over there in the dungeon. I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm sorry. Raising me cheering. Raising me cheering. <laughs> Mm -mm. Let me see. I believe in making a joyful noise, but please be mindful of our ears, my brother. Love you. 
that kind of love I can do without Gamish Carter. And you will not steal my joy. You will not say no. I'm about to drag your nonsense. Oh. Mm. Over here, build it up. That whole kingdom. Oh, God. Oh, in my face. And I'm telling you, Carter, I'm about to drag your kingdom down. Mm hmm. Garmin's car, do you see John Britton here? That's one of our old friends. Mm hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with saying. So uh, y'all don't go to church, though, and sit there quietly, right? Because y'all not on the stage, do you? I hope not. I hope you sing singing Joyful Noise, honey. Yes, God. Yes. Let me see. My soul say yes. My soul say yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. From the bottom of my heart to the death of my soul is just yes god completely yes my soul say yes mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the old god for you <laughs> marissa chateau you got you got to oh <laughs> uh -uh. Satan, drag your kingdom down. King Tim and Duchess Kelly love sings. Drag your kingdom down. Uh, uh, uh. Is he still around that Kelly love? I don't see him very much. Has he been taken down again? What's going on with Kelly love? I know that he has some difficulty. I thought it was just a little temporary thing. I don't know. Anyway, people, keep a song in your heart. Sing your praises unto God. Why? Because he's God. You don't got to know his history. You don't got to know where he's born, right? Thank God they didn't put where he was born in there. Y'all be trying to evaluate where God was born, right? You don't got to know that. You ain't got to know the history that he had with, with Adam or Eve. It's not necessary. You worship him because he's God, because he allows this bullshit to go on. And that will be the benediction. Have a good people. <laughs> Have a good people. Have a good day, people. Later.